Today on an all-new Maryland, Sebastian Sentner reveals how simple it is to create a stunning Mother's Day table using what you've got lying around the house. It all starts right now. Welcome back to the show. Joining us to set up a perfect Mother's Day table for this Sunday is my friend, Sebastian Sentner. Hi. Hey, Marilyn. How are you doing? Good. I've been to that house. Great dinner parties at that house. Yeah, not so many these days, but we're trying to do stuff at least as a family. That's so good. Logan is right there. I don't know if he can hear me, but hi, Logue. How are you? He's good. He's waving. I'm not going to bring up the fact that you know Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay. This is not the time to bring oh, up that gosh. story with my oh, friend. Oh, gosh. I, I think I'm going to lose my <laughs> cameraman over that. Okay. How are you guys all doing, you and Sheila and the boys? Well, you've got one son in Miami. I know that. Yeah, I mean, you know what? We're doing uh, We're doing it the same as everybody. Everyone has their challenges through that. Uh, it's a difficult time, you know, both uh, personally and professionally. But, you know, we're, we're coping like everybody else. You're holding up. Um, it's great having a partner like Sheila because, uh, you know, we don't just uh, – we're not just life partners but also, um, you know, work partners. And together, you know, we're making it through. Having Logan home is, yeah. you know, uh, is great. He's been awesome. He's doing school. Uh, he's still doing online university in the mornings. Um, but in the afternoons, he's been helping us uh, with deliveries with um, for our entertainment food boxes because we're still an right. essential service. So he's uh, he's been keeping busy. And um, Coulson's in Miami. He was in New York. Um, he was working in New York, but mm -hmm. he he moved uh, down to Miami, so he's safe in Miami. And he actually mm -hmm. has the uh, COVID antibodies. He did the test for that because he had uh, he was sick a few weeks ago, and um, wow. so he's at least yeah. So he's he's actually the first person I know who's who's had COVID nineteen. So when it's time, he's going to give a give of his plasma so he can help other COVID patients. Is that yeah? His plan? I mean, whatever. It's it's he wanted. Mm. We wanted to know uh, because he thought he had it, so we thought it would just let us, you know, sleep better at night, knowing that you know one of our kids oh. who's in the still in the U.S. is uh, yeah. is possibly has had it, so maybe he's a little bit safer. Um, and yeah, yeah. whatever it is, yeah. at least he knows he has it now, and we'll sort of see what the what the future brings. Well, we're thinking about him all the time. And of course, we, we love you. the fact that you shared that with us because that's helpful to a lot of people. Okay, for Mother's Day, you're going to throw a simple chic dinner party. Where do we begin? Super simple. Okay, so we're starting with the base. What I'm doing here is I want to set a table and I want it to look really, really pretty. So what I'm doing is I'm starting with placemats. If you have a tablecloth, you can use that as well. And one of the things I'm trying to do is, you know, we might, it, it might be overly elegant in the way that we have, you know, different types of glassware and we have different types of plates and everything. But to me, it's about the effort that you've put in. You haven't just thrown something together. We're putting beautiful plates down. We're taking out the good china. Um, we've got napkins that we've folded over over the place setting so it's nice and elegant uh the other thing is is that remember you're doing the dishes too kids or dads yeah. or both yeah. so yeah. you know what you're gonna have more dishes to do than usual but you know what it's a nice little touch and i'm doing things like like even though we're gonna only do a single course like a family style single course it doesn't mean we can't put down a nice little pretty charger plate just to add some color to the table and again give it a bit of that elegance yeah you know what pull out the great stuff and if you don't have any china or anything like that just like dress it up doesn't with matter. A, uh, like i said doesn't matter a serviette a colorful plate whatever it takes so we're doing two things for the centerpiece we are doing florals but the other thing we're doing which i just want to throw in there is that you know i love votives and votives are a beautiful way to add just a little bit of glow to the table but a lot of people now i'm lucky i've got tons of votives at home i've got colored ones uh you know i've got cleared ones but a lot of people aren't going to have these at home so i want to show you a really really great trick when basically okay. you take a simple glass like uh -huh. this Here comes, okay. we'll get a close-up on it so this is just a goblet and all i'm doing is i'm yeah. taking tea lights and i'm dropping them in there so what Perfect. i've got then is i've got really really simple little candles mm. i'm doing the same thing with a crystal rock glass again this is a different type of glass the nice thing is with the votives that i'm using what i can make sure of is that they have the silver so they're not going to drip into the glass it's not going to make the uh, cleanup really difficult but what it does is it just gives you that nice idea that all of a sudden look at all this glow we're going to have on the table when we light everything that's so really that's the great. base yeah yeah that's the foundation now, uh, 
I, I like what I like about this. It's what you have because we can't really go out unless we go grocery yep. shopping. If you need tea lights, you can get that at the grocery store. That's easy. Yep. And any kind of glass, clear glass, or some kind of you know shade glass, it makes for a great votive. So now we're going to talk florals. We're going to talk florals. Now we're going to add florals. Now, same. You made a great point. You know, you don't want to be going. You don't. You can't go out to a bunch of different stores and find things. So what we're trying to do is make yeah. sure everything that we have in this segment are things you have at home, or just a quick trip to the grocery store that you can get those four or five things that you need to put together a great mm -hmm. Mother's Day. So on that note, what I have is I brought over. I've got a vase here that I yeah. um, had around the house, and basically what I did here is I want to you know, sort of uh, uh, amp it up a little bit. So I found some twine that I had. You could use ribbon, you can use rope, you can use pretty much every anything. I've done some tape oh. on the back here. And all I'm going to yep. do is just to, you know, bring it up a notch is I'm going to tie this That's in a bow pretty. at the very front. So there we've got all of a sudden we take a simple vase, we just make it a little bit, a little bit nicer. So that's the vase yeah. that we're going to start with. And then what I'm going to do is I've got these tulips that I picked up again at the grocery store. I did one trip. I had like five things in my in my basket. I was in and out super quick. So I started with these florals. The, the, a lot of times you'll find with grocery store florals, they come with like you know baby's breasts, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what we're going to do with that? We're going to we're going to throw that away. We don't need that. We okay. don't like that. We're keeping it simple. So I've got two different colors of uh, tulips here. We put them all around the edge here, and we put them in two different layers. So if you notice, what I've got is I've got two different heights of florals. What we're going to do is we're going to cut off all the stems here. Okay, great. We'll make a uh -huh. mess that I'll clean up later. And then look, yep. so any dad can do this, any kid can do this, you know, together it's even easier. And we're just going to go ahead and put it in the center of the table there and with our candles and our place settings. Your table's set, it's beautiful. Mom's going to see that effort, she's going to be really excited. Very much so. Now we're going to talk about food. Yes, we're going to talk about food next. So let's go do that. Let's talk about what you're going to make. It's, it's It involves pasta, I bet. So it's basically a pasta limone, which is a very, very simple Ooh. pasta to make. You know, if Adam isn't watching, I suggest that he gets on right away and watches this because, you know, even Adam can make this. Um, and this is how we're <laughs> going to make sure that it's very simple to do, but that you can do it for mom. And it's also we're going to show you how you can upgrade it. So what we're going to do okay. is we're going to start out, basically. I've got my pan, warming up my pan a little bit. I can add my butter into it, my first ingredient. And, you know, the butter is going to melt there. And as the butter is melting, I'm going to get ready my next ingredient. There's only four to five ingredients in this recipe. And what I love about that is that, again, that grocery uh, little shopping trip is going to be super quick, yeah. super easy. So we're going to get our butter. It's going to melt. Then what we're going to start to do is as it's melting, we're going to add a full lemon. I'm going to do this. We're going to squeeze that lemon in. There we go. That's one lemon or half a lemon. One Let's lemon. add that second half. So this okay. is the, where it wanted, gets that lemon I, flavor. I've always wanted to know how to do this so it's just the right, because I've had it at restaurants, it's so good. So butter, well, that's, unsalted or salted? I mean, I use salted, I love salt, but you can use either one. There's, you're gonna see that we're adding um, you know, some garlic powder, we can add salt later. So it's not really, you don't wanna over salt it because it's a pretty salty dish as it is. But then what we're gonna do, this is really where it starts to get interesting. Now we're gonna add a little bit of white wine uh-huh okay so uh, Marilyn yeah I know this is uh this could be your favorite part so what's going to happen there is that we're going to let that evaporate now that'll usually take a minute or so we're going to do it a bit quicker here but you start to see it all bubbling and that's basically the alcohol mm -hmm. burning off so once that's done and once the alcohol is burned off then we start to add some of our a little bit of garlic powder so I'm just going to put a pinch of garlic powder in here that adds a bit of flavor there we go then what we're going to do? Much is a, how much is a little bit, Seb? How much is we're a actually bit? using? We're we're using a quarter teaspoon. Okay. Yeah. And the full recipe you can also find it at Maryland.ca too. So in case somebody uh, you know misses this, it's easy to catch up. So once that's burned okay. off, what we're going to then do is we're going to start adding heavy cream. So I'm using whipping cream, but you can use heavy cream or whipping cream. We want to add in total about three quarters of a cup. But what we're going to do is add a quarter cup at a time, and this is really important. We're going to mix it in give it a little bit of time in between, and then add another quarter cup. And we're gonna continue doing that three times for three quarters cups. Now, okay. with the magic of TV, what I'm gonna show you is that after you've done that, you actually wanna leave it for a little bit on a medium and it's gonna thicken. It's gonna turn more into like an Alfredo sauce. And that's gonna look a little bit like this. Mm. So this mm -hmm. is what happens after a few minutes. It thickens up really nicely, like an Alfredo. And then, yeah. 
Super, super, super simple. I'm taking my pasta that was cooked earlier. So it's al dente, it's ready to go. And I'm basically gonna move my pasta right into the pan. And all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna toss this right in the pan. Mm -hmm. So what you'll see is you get this, the pasta is nice and soaked in the sauce. It's nice and warm. Because I did a little bit al dente, it means that it's gonna finish cooking while it's on the heat. Gotcha. And then, Ooh, because good. we're gonna make this a single course, I'm basically gonna then take it, we're gonna put it to a single bowl. Uh -huh. I'm gonna add two little touches, so there we go. Beautiful. Logan's mm -hmm. gonna have a great lunch today in this little tester. I'm gonna add a little bit more lemon. Okay. Okay, gonna do a little bit of salt. This is where we add the salt, so you know what? You can do it to taste. A little bit of pepper. I like personally to just do a tiny bit of parsley because it just adds a little bit of green to it. And you've got your pasta, but one more thing quickly. This is a beautiful, simple pasta dish, but you can also add, just to sort of amp it up, I've done some garlic grilled shrimp. I just saute these in garlic butter, super easy for a couple of minutes. And there you go. You can do this with sausage. You can do this with chicken. You can do it with whatever the kids and the family like. So there you go. You've got this beautiful dish to serve mom. Bravo. It's very, very simple. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. And it goes really well with that mm -hmm. bottle of white wine that she's going to enjoy on the same night. Sebastian, thank you so much. Logan, thanks for being our cinematographer. And to Sheila, we wish you a very happy Mother's Day. I know you're around there somewhere. And to your other son in Miami, we wish all the best for him. And I hope he gets better soon. Thank you, Sebastian. And happy, ha happy Mother's Day to you and happy Mother's Day to Caprice. I think this is her first one, isn't it? Or second? It's her, fir it's her first one. It's her first, her first one. Mother's That's Day. Right. Well, happy Mother's Day yeah. to both of you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.